everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Wednesday, January 10th, 2018. We start the show with the one thing that everyone is talking about today. Cyberpunk 2077's Twitter account has sprung to life after more than four years of dormancy. CD Projekt Red has graced us with some new information that is vital to understanding what Cyberpunk 2077 will contain. So let's take a look at what this amazing information is. Uh, beep. They, they tweeted beep. Hmm. So, so yay, I guess? It, it's something. I'm not really sure what the future of this game holds, and all jokes aside, there is no information here, and the internet is going crazy over what is essentially nothing. All that being said, I am a CDPR fan, and I'm excited to see what Cyberpunk 2077 is all about. And let me know if you are too in the comments section down below. On to release announcements, with developer Creative Assembly announcing today a new iteration of their Total War series, Three Kingdoms. Set in China, a first for any Total War game. Coming to Nintendo Switch is Darkest Dungeon on January 18th to Nintendo's eShop. For $24.99 US dollars, $24.99 Euros, $19.99 British pounds, or your regional equivalent. Moving on to some update news with Overwatch. Getting an update just before Blizzard's Esports League starts with a ton of bug fixes, a list of which can be found through the links in the description down below, along with timestamps and links for sources for all of today's stories. Fortnite has been updated to version 2.1.0, also fixing a bunch of bugs and adding a new cozy fire healing trap. Finally, for updates, Street Fighter V has a new update out that also details a bit of the upcoming anniversary edition, set to release on January 16th. In other Capcom news, they've given some details as to why the PC version of Monster Hunter World has been delayed until fall of 2018, saying, quote, this is our first PC title and it's something we want to make sure we get right. Explaining things like matchmaking take longer to develop on PC because it's practically built in for consoles, and that they want to get console off the door so they can take their time and make it as good as possible. These reasonings do make sense to me, but it's a bit of a disappointment that I have to wait about six more months to play Monster Hunter on my preferred platform. But let's face and I'm probably not going to play anything except WoW until then, so... See you when you release, Monster Hunter World! And finally, Niantic has announced today that as of February 28th, Pokemon Go will no longer work on iOS devices that do not support iOS 11, the current version of Apple's mobile operating system. This affects iPhone 5, 5C, and older versions, but will work on the 5S and SE. Niantic is claiming this is to help push Pokemon Go into the future with new capabilities for the application. Like not crashing all the fucking time like it's still does a year and a half after launch. After February 28th, trainers will no longer be able to access their account from those devices or use Pokecoins that they may have had in their inventory. Completely unaddressed by Niantic are the troubles trainers have been facing using the Pokemon Go Plus accessory that either won't respond or even connect to the application as intended. Are you going to be affected by this change? Are you going to upgrade your device, stop playing, or another option? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you playing any of these? It's tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Dusk, Paradise Lost, FPS Cosmic Horror Game, Dying, Reborn, Rusty Lake Paradise, Zone Driver, Nico Muse Potty Trouble, The Dummy Experiment, Till the Dawn, Waiting, The Disappearing of Gensokyo, Banyu Lintar Anjin, Little Storm, A Raven Monologue, and Heads Run. For PlayStation 4, Planet Base. For Nintendo Switch, The Escapist 2, Super Meat Boy, Of Mice and Sand, Revised, Morhun, Knights and Castles, Energy Invasion, ACA Neo Geo, Art of Fighting 2, Arcade Archives, Crazy Climber, Draw a Stickman, Epic 2, and Jolt Family Robot Racer. Thank you very much everybody, this has been News Cartridge, I am Dandruff, I will see you tomorrow. And if EA made a console, it would be the PayStation. Thank you for watching this show, everybody. Please hit the like button. If you liked my show, please hit the dislike button. If you did not like the show, but also leave a comment down below about why you didn't like it, don't forget to check out that merch store, which I finally have set up, and click over here to watch the end card or the bonus cartridge for today. Click down here to watch yesterday's episode, and click over here to subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.